Do you ever find yourself struggling with your driver while you are procuring your irons? Or maybe do you actually find yourself hitting your driver very well, but not being able to get those pure strikes with the irons? If so, then this video is for you. You see, the good news and the bad news is, is that the golf swing, it kind of falls underneath one big umbrella of this is the golf swing. And there are a lot of commonalities between the iron swing and the driver swing that you need to have correct and proper form on for both swings in order to have some really good results. These include things such as the grip, making sure that when you align a set to the ball, that you are holding the ball more in your fingertips and not in your palms like a baseball bat, club face alignment, swing path, etc. Now, there are also a few different tweaks to these swings that could be the reason why you cannot hit one or the other or vice versa. First one is going to be the setup. The more you go off, you're going to realize that you can tell how good or how bad uh, someone is at this game quite simply just by the setup before they even move the club back, get alone and make a swing. Some of the differences, here's like an eight iron, just for the iron swing that could mess up your driver swing if you don't make changes are as follows. Here in eight iron, you always want to make sure in practicing, you always have these alignment sticks down the target line and one right here down the center. You want to set your iron right here towards the center and for your eight iron, it's going to be in the middle of your stand. That's what this alignment stick or club in this case does for me. Now, if I was trying to hit my driver here, I would have some different issues that I would run into. My driver swing, I'm going to want to have more forward and up in my stance with the setup. The reason for this is quite simple. When you have your irons, you want to hit down the ball. And that could yield some negative swing thoughts. So a pro more proper swing thought is you just want to have a descending or a negative angle of attack into the ball. If you were pro and had a nice $30,000 truck man behind you, that'd be pretty easy for you to see. Or, in probably 9 out of 10 players on the PGA Tour, not all of them, but definitely all amateurs should try to have a positive angle attack or hitting up on the ball with their drivers. So, step one, making sure your alignment for your irons are going to be way more centralized than your driver swing. You want to sit up to the ball very nice and well, and then on your way back, you want to make sure you're going to have that descending blow. Now, I'll grab the driver's swing to help illustrate a few more differences. So, we're going to have the ball more up in our stance, as you see with this alignment rod right here. But some ways to help getting the ball forward is you want to take your hips right, and you can cheat a little bit. I and mean, you hear Rory McIlroy talk about this, where you actually want to just kind of angle them a little more far forward. Plus, a lie, uh, same thing with your shoulders. This is going to help promote your swing to go more up towards your target, rather with your irons, you do not want to do so because that would yield the wrong angle of attack. So now that you've done that, we're going to set up to the ball with our driver to make sure it's the ball is more towards the front of our stance. We are going to cheat a little bit by angling our hips and our shoulders up to promote that upward angle of attack. And here we rock and roll. Now let's talk about two of my favorite drills with your driver. You want to make sure you're promoting the upward hit. You're going to take just a head cover and you know, nothing super crazy. You just want to put this thing probably about six inches ahead of the ball. Some people put it more closer, the better they get or the more extreme they want. Some put it, people put it farther away. Don't over sweat it. Now we're going to set up to the ball and the goal with this drill is through impact. You want to make good contact with the ball, but you want to miss this head cover because if not, non descending blow, you'll make contact with it. See, in that case, I was able to hit up on the ball, make good contact, and still miss the head cover. Now, when you get to the range and you're practicing this, you want to make sure you follow drill number two. Drill number two is going to be quite simply alternating your driver and your irons. Now, the reason why is because too often you get on the range and you're hitting them well, and then you get to the course, it's not translating. Why is that? Most likely, it's because when you tee off, you don't have 10 seven irons and 10 drivers in a row. So now we're going to pretend or mimic more like we're actually on the course. So we're going to pretend that we're actually hitting off with our driver and then have whatever your average club into the green is. You know, this is an eight iron for me. So we'll actually start with the driver. Visualize yourself on your first hole, on your home course. Line up and remember the different setup changes we have to make sure we're hitting our irons pretty well. And try to make some good contact. After that, don't go rapid fire, pretend like you're actually on the course. Take a second, walk over, grab your next club, or even if you're actually recording your swing in slow motion, go back, check it out, 
and then grab your iron, regardless of how good or how bad your last hit was. This way you can actually simulate changing it up and making technical changes rather than just trying to get a feel of by doing the same thing 10 times in a row, doing it wrong eight times in your last two swings, and good. Put the ball more around the center of our stance, and we're definitely not gonna do this. Take more of our standard setup. Pretend that we're now gonna take an approach in the green. If you got a course like this, pick out a flag out there, and now we're just gonna make a good iron swing. And even after you do all this, you still might encounter some more questions with your swings. So please make sure to check out these videos over here. Have a good one.